most of us think that it's always got to be behind the pulpit and it's always got to be in words but sometimes your life your life is a testimony the way you live your life before people the way um you go out and tell others you know um sometimes you you don't have to talk but sometimes you show it somebody see the blessings in your life what's up my love bugs and love muffins this is mama love and welcome 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 back to my channel finally finally i know i've been missing in action as y'all know i was over on tnt squad's channel helping my kids get situated and you know things like that but i am home alone tonight and i'm up in my room my messy room but it's my mess it's my bed's just not made up that's all oh and i got some clothes on the floor yeah and that's about it the rest of the room don't look bad at all and my bathroom yeah it's messy but that's okay, right? Because when you got your own, you can clean up when you get ready to. So I'm going to get up in the morning and clean up. I don't feel like doing it tonight. Ten and Terrell decided to go over to their friends. Um, they haven't been anywhere since this pandemic been going on. And they act like they can't sit still. So I ain't trying to hold them hostage because that's the first thing that come out their mouth is. You trying to hold us hostage. You don't want us to go nowhere. We can't do nothing. We already been in the house for two months. They act like it's my fault that it was a pandemic going on. And I was the one holding them in the house. But nevertheless, you know, she got to throw up that I'm 18 stuff and all of that. So I said, you know what? Go on right on ahead. You know what I'm saying? But don't come back hugging and kissing on me and trying to climb on my bed and all that. And go on in your room. Don't be trying to snuggle up under mama. If your tail up. Because I don't need y'all bringing me back nothing. I know they're not sick or anything. But you don't know who's carrying what. So I had to pray before I dropped them off at their friends. And like, God, please, just don't let them bring me back nothing. Don't let them get sick. You know what I'm saying? Terrell has asthma and stuff like that. So... Anyways, I'm just sitting up in the room by myself. I'm chilling. Uh, I was playing uh, dress up. And as you can see in the face area, I've lost some weight. Um, Y'all, I'm trying to come down. Me, Tina, and Terrell are all doing this together. And it's much easier. I feel like we should have been did this. It's not so hard when you're doing it with someone. We all encourage each other. You know, even now, I'll call and check on them. Be like, what y'all eating? Don't mess up, you know. Because, um, you know, I just like to see how... I, I like to see how they're coming down. That, and how they're feeling. They're feeling much better. It takes a while for weight to come off people. Um, so... You know, it's not going to fall off overnight. I explained that to them. You know, um, it takes some time. However, we've been at this for about a month and a half now. And um, and they've been doing pretty good. You know, um, we've been um, doing salads and smoothies and stir fries. Um, before we did that, though, um, we were doing one meal a day. You know, the way best way we can do it, the best way we know how. I know there's a lot of diets out there, um, keto and all that type of stuff, you know. And right now, I'm going to set this right here while I'm talking. Right now, I'm kind of hungry, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I wanted to go downstairs and make me a smoothie because I got, like, pineapples and strawberries and stuff like that. So I wanted to go downstairs and make me a smoothie. Because I'm the only one here and probably watch some TV. You know what I'm saying? And chill. But Tina and Terrell been doing it a little bit better than me. Because, you know, they've been walking. And, you know, um, I ain't been getting out there walking. I feel like I be cleaning this house up, though. And y'all seen my uh, downstairs. Uh, the size of this townhouse is... It's large, you know, and this the floor, I mops the floor. I keeps the downstairs. Not that they won't do it, but I want it done right. So I am the one that goes downstairs and I will clean that kitchen. I'll keep those, you have to keep those cabinets white. I'm the type of person, y'all, I don't like stuff out of order. Uh, I have fits. So um, I'm the one who keeps the downstairs. I just, well, no, let me, let me get this right. I just started making Terrell do both the bathrooms because I do my own bathroom nobody uses my bathroom but me and I don't use any other bathrooms but my own and um but there's a guest bathroom downstairs and then there's the bathroom the main bathroom here upstairs which is Tina and Terrell's bathroom and whoever spends the night but 
I just recently started making him do that bathroom, but I was doing the whole downstairs, y'all. The whole downstairs as far as dusting, um, doing windows, uh, like cleaning off blinds. I mean, everything vacuuming. Uh, Cause I do vacuum the floor sometimes, the hardwood floor. We have the the vac has a bare floor uh, little thing where you could push, turn it on bare floor and use it. And so then I'll take and I'll mop real good with Murphy's oil soap. Murphy oil soap had your living room floor smelling so good, y'all. It'll have it shining with no scuff marks and all of that, no back residue over it. You won't see no you know mop marks where the water done dry. When you use, I'm telling y'all, Murphy's oil soap. So that's the best kind I use. And so that's what I've been doing, y'all. But that's my workout. I'm sorry. I, I Keeping this house clean is workout. When I when I, when I I park my car and uh, in the garage and walk up, uh, let me see, five sets of stairs, then turn around and walk up eight sets of stairs. There's the front door, then turn around and walk up 13 sets of stairs. Uh, that's my exercise. <laughs> I'm going to get with it, y'all. I'm going to start walking and everything. But I like to do... I, I tried one night to walk with Tina and Terrell. And I ended up walking by myself. Because first Terrell started off ahead. And then Tina, you know, she was walking with me. And, and then, you know, them steps got more and more and more. And then she was up there with Terrell. And then I found myself walking by myself. And I'm like, this ain't fun. So I got to find my girls to walk with me. You know, I need my girls. Get on here and get to walking with me and stuff like that. So that's the stuff we've been doing since the gym has still not been open uh, i'm talking about the gym over here where we live at in the community area have our own gym and uh i haven't uh been to planet fitness i revoked revoked that account a long time ago well, last year basically when we moved here because i felt like that's a big workout area that we have here we don't even have to use i ain't spending no money on planet fitness if i ain't got to but i'm just wishing that they were open you know and um so anyways yeah, so I've just been chilling and I've just been doing different things um, as far as, um, you know, my uh, diet goes. Uh, I've just been doing some of everything, y'all. But I tell you what, I, 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 I have been eating, but I'll tell you, I'll just tell you what I have not been eating and that'll make it easier instead of going through everything that I'm eating. I, what I am not eating, what I am not eating is um, a lot of pork. Um, I'm not eating a lot of red meats period uh sometimes turkey but most of the time grilled chicken or baked chicken but i am not touching pork red meats breads pastas sugars anything sweet those are the things that i'm not touching i am not drinking pop y'all y'all i cannot tell y'all when's the last time i had a diet coke and y'all know that is my weakness I'm a Diet Coke person. That's all I do is drink Diet Coke. Diet Coke, I feel like I'm, I'm good, you know. But I noticed that when I'm not drinking Diet Coke, um, I see my stomach going down. And I'm like, I'm going to be mad because all these years, since I was 17 years old, I've been a Diet Coke person. And I'm going to be so mad that, you know, when I finally decided to leave Diet Coke alone, the big fat gut goes away. Are you serious? I'm 50 years old now. From 17 to 50 years old, I'm going to discover this. And I had a big fat gut all this time. Man. Man. Y'all, it really don't matter at this point, though, of age you are. It's just good to be healthy because you never know what your circumstances may be. Um, even though I have three children... Uh, I'm not going to say my kids said, mama, you will never put you in a nursing home, but then who knows, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Man, if I, 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 I pray that, uh, my health is going to be in good health and that God is going to keep me where he preserves me, where I don't have to go through issues like that when I get older, Lord willing. But right now I'm going to go downstairs. I am going to make me a pineapple smoothie, you all. So in here, y'all. This is what we do. I went shopping and I bought stuff like broccoli and cheese sauce. Um, this is stuff that, you know, have no, um, no carbs. I bought a lot of these dinners. Matter of fact, I gotta go shopping again, but I bought a lot of these. Grilled chicken and broccoli Alfredo. No carbs in it, you all. Um, I gotta, 
like bags of these when the kids make salad. They like to already have their roasted, uh, oven roasted diced chicken breasts. They put that in there and then I have chicken. But I have uh, strawberries, pineapples, blueberries, and I gotta go shopping because I, I gotta get a bunch of green beans. I bought green beans, you all, with smoked turkey, and I puts it in a crock pot. I don't put no white potatoes in there, any type of potatoes, or nothing at all. I think I'm gonna have me a, either a, I'm on a strawberry pineapple smoothie. So. And then what we usually do, hold on, let me close this. Okay. And this is my Nutri Bullet cup. I got some kale in there. Should I put kale in it though? I just want a fruit. Usually with the kale, I'll make it like a stir fry kale. Uh, I'll stir fry it with shrimp or whatever. But I think I just want some. I'm gonna do the pineapple and strawberry. Because I want a fruit smoothie. That's what I'm doing. Y'all, I'm telling y'all. I feel so much better in my body. I feel so good, y'all. Um, just to know that I tell Tina and Terrell all the time. You can do all things. Y'all know what I'm about to say. You can do all things. All things through Christ Jesus who strengthens you. I am so proud of them, y'all. They're on it. They're, they are on it. I'm gonna see how I do with that way there. Make sure I don't see strawberries in it. Shaking it up. Hold on. Just back in the window. Don't fall, baby. Don't fall, baby. Y'all, it feels so good not putting carbs in your body or a lot of them in you. It's just so, it's just so lovely, y'all. It's just a good feeling. I'm not tired. It's like I'll be up all night. Cutting back eating. I always get insomnia. I don't know why. But when it's a lot of it's not a lot of sugars and pastas and all that stuff to weigh you down and stuff like that. Me and the kids had a two weeks challenge. I challenged them to salads and smoothies only. Basically fruit and vegetables is what we had from June 4th to June 16th and we made it. So yesterday, uh, I told the kids, they said, okay, yeah, we off. I said, okay, but that don't mean that we're gonna go back to eating the way that we used to eat. Y'all wish I had a straw, but that's okay, I got a spoon. Cause if I had that straw, it'd be like, look, mm. It'll be like a smoothie king. 
Anyways, come on. Let's go over here. Oh, y'all like the carpet? I, I changed it. I went and got an area rug and I gotta hang my curtains that's sitting there on the chair. I bought a rod. And um, I put the circle area rug over here. And thought I'd brighten like, up that area a little bit or whatever. And then, remember my great big furry area rug? I took it out and I got another one coming. I ordered from Amazon. It's got a uh, grayish silver in it and it's got uh, little specks of gold, gray and, and uh, like not white, but like a cream and then to match that area. And then I'm getting some coffee table. And then I went and got this vase right here. This little glitter one, the, the, I guess that side there, but glitter one because, I mean not glitter one, but it matches. I don't know if y'all can see because of the light, y'all might not. It matches my lamp, you see it? See it? And then I got like vases on the other side. I was gonna have a little spruces coming out of them and I had went and got stuff like this. You know, just kind of adding, you know, to the area. Anyway, the camera had went off and I didn't realize it. But anyways, so I'm gonna go over here and watch TV. And I was saying, I had picked up some more pillows, glitter, uh, pillows. Um, I already had those two, but I went and picked up some more. So when that rug comes, I'm gonna get a centerpiece cocktail table. Uh, I'll show y'all when I get it, but <clears throat> it's gonna be a shelf, a glass corner shelf in this corner. I want to light up for this area. Somebody said, don't put nothing else there. Just let it be. These pictures on the wall, I'm taking those down. And I'm just going to add like designer mirrors or, you know, pictures to bring out the silver and the gold in here and stuff like that. And I know I showed y'all in a while stuff that I've been, you know, doing. Just different stuff, you know. Um, the pool opens up tomorrow. I'm glad about that because I'm going to be doing me some water aerobics, y'all some water work. Anyway. That's so good, y'all. So that's what I've been doing. Um, just working with us. We can see um, the results. We encourage each other. Um, when I see, you know, every morning. I'm, I'm sorry, y'all. When you, when you heavy, you know, you can feel the difference in your body, like from when you're not eating right, when you are eating right. When I look at Tana and Terrell, I see the progress in them and I'll be so happy. I, I just be telling them, constantly encouraging them. Like y'all, keep it up. Y'all look good. I'll get off guard pictures of them and be like, look. Because see on here y'all, as y'all see us, this camera makes you look actually bigger than what you are. So a camera puts weight on you. So you're really not, really seeing anything when you see them like they don't like they lost no way to me well on camera you know it'll seem like but you can see them in person and be like okay they didn't they didn't drop some weight but i told them i said we well, just keep going and i just keep encouraging them you know like mama i'm coming down yeah you look good and they'll tell me mama you, you looking good you know we just got each other we got each other to encourage each other and stuff like that because when you get so so many people um outside i'm gonna say outsiders that um that constantly like bash you and talk about you all the time it's a good feeling that you could come in your place a safe haven to us and we all have each other regardless of what people say about us or whatever we got each other we got each other we, we are family and is when you walk in this house and you shut that door it's like you just shutting the world out so regardless of anything they they got to know they got to know at the end of the day First of all, they got God. We got God. We all got him. But at the end of the day, they got to know that they have their mother. They have to know that I'm there. You know what I'm saying? Because the other parent is not active in their life at all. And, um, but they have to know. They ain't got nobody else. They got me. That goes for all three of my kids. 
um, my grandchildren as well. Um, I love all my children. I'm thankful for the things that we've been through because they have grown and come to make us strong. A lot of times I was not gonna lie and say that I was, wasn't angry or I wasn't humiliated or I wasn't embarrassed, things like that. Some things um, are, are not, I don't even wanna touch on the subject, but you know, a lot of things are just made to uh, humiliate you and make you look bad. It comes to taint your character, you know, and, and have people believe this way about you when you're not and all that type of stuff. But what it does is it made, it made us stronger to the point where it's like, you know what, I can't worry about what people think. You know what I'm saying? You'll get strength from that area. Like, I cannot worry about what people think or what someone else perceived of me or told someone or made somebody think of me. I know how I am. And I constantly tell Tina and Terrell that you know how you are. You know who you are. You know what I'm saying? Don't let nobody taint that. You know, don't, let, don't let nobody control you like that with the things that they can say and do. So what? You know what I'm saying? All you know is, all you can do is let people see you from here on out. Change yourself for the better. And they're doing it. I, and they're doing it, and I'm proud of them. I'm, I'm proud of them um, to keep working hard like that. Um, I'm not gonna bring up, well, they, you know, I wish they had the other channel. No, that, no, even in that. Some, sometimes things is best to start fresh. Yes, they had 160,000 something subscribers, Tina Trail had, but that's okay. This round, it's their brand. It's their time and they're building it on their own without no help, without no shout outs, without none of that. You know, so I'm proud of them in that area because to let them know that, you know, you are worth something. You are, you are somebody. You do matter. You do count. Regardless of what the world say about you and things people say, yes, you have made past mistakes and we all have made mistakes, but you got somebody in your corner and I'm going to from here on out, steer you in a direction that you need to go so it doesn't hurt you anymore. So that the things that they say does not matter anymore. You know what I'm saying? That's what I was trying to do in the first place, but I could not get their attention. But sometimes things come along and things happen in people's life to get their attention. And no, I'm not gonna say that it was good, but I will say that God has a way of taking things that the enemy meant for bad, he will take it and turn it and make it good. And that's what he has done in this situation. Y'all, and I'm glad and I'm proud and I'm happy um, for them. And I just wanted to say that. I just, I just had to say that. I just had to say that. God is good, y'all. I better not get an smoothie on this floor call. But like, I'm waiting for it to, yeah, it's starting to loosen up a little bit. It's a good smoothie, y'all. So, I got a lot of plans coming up. Um, I wanted to be in Atlanta. There was supposed to be something going on uh, July 18th with some other YouTubers. Some epic come on Prissy P and Trey and Nene and some other ones. Um I don't know all the names. I just familiar with those two. But however, I wanted to go to Atlanta anyways because I wanted to shop. I just love their style of clothes. And um so we would haven't been able to really get down there like we like because I, I don't know y'all. Michigan is in the green as far as this virus is going on and I saw the map where Michigan is in the green. Thank God for Governor Gretchen. She got on my nerves for a minute because she kept extending this stay at home, stay, whatever. And I was getting mad like this is getting on my nerves. But Michigan is in the green today where rest of the states and everybody is in like the yellow. So I'm like, OK, I still want to be careful. I still want to social distance. I still wear our mask. We still wear our gloves. We still have hand sanitizer in the car. We constantly wash our hands. 
and um, kind of worries me with Tina and Terrell sometimes because they have been held down and they want to get around to their friends but I just don't want them to be so you know panicky to where they let their guard down because they want to have fun you know what I'm saying so I want to you know keep it where you know they have their mask and you know they wear they protect the wear at all times and stuff because like i said i ain't got time for them to be getting sick and god has covered us and he kept us but still you don't want to be foolish and go out there and just stay here and stay there and start you know you know just letting your guard down you know what i'm saying just, just don't do it you know but however god has kept us through this we had not been sick not one time he has covered us. He has kept his word. And he's going to continue to do so. I'm just thankful and grateful, you all. I really am. I'm really thankful and grateful that everything is making a turnaround in our life. And I think it's about time. You know what I'm saying? For that. Um, I have a lot of ideals and things that I'm going to do with um, Tina and Terrell. As far as putting all my time into them. As far as making them great you know what i'm saying um giving them that support that i gave my firstborn um now it's their turn i can focus on them and like i said some things happen for the good you know i can get my focus off my oldest child and i can focus on the ones that are up under me i was been told that years years and years ago um well not years and years ago because they were all kids but what I'm saying is, you know, to focus on the two that I have, you know, and that's what I'm finally doing. And uh, it ain't nobody but God. I give God all the glory and honor and praise for the things that he is, he is doing, you know. And I just got some special things coming up for them that I have planned. Um, and y'all see soon, you know, things that I've got as uh, surprises for them. Um, I can't say in this video because then they'll see it because Terrell's the editor. He go edit and he gonna see it. Um, Tina want a dog. Tina don't watch my videos, so <laughs> she be all in her own world. Uh, but Terrell edits and he won't tell her. But Tina want a dog and I'm trying to get Tina a dog. If I do get a dog, I want a little Yorkie. I want a dog that don't grow. I don't want no big dogs coming all over the couch and all of that. I said I would never have a dog in the house. But I saw this little cute, I think it's a, they call it a teacup poodle. Well, my friend was telling me about a teacup poodle. And I just wanted one of those little doggies that's so cute. You know what I'm saying? That, you know, she said she wanted somebody to love and all of that. I don't know. She kept asking me, breaking me down. I mean, why not? You know, every little girl, little boy had a dog or a cat coming up. Why can't she? Although a long time ago, I had got Tina and Terrell a cat. And they promised me that they would clean up behind this cat. And um, they did To make a long story short, uh, the cat told my dog on house up. And I'm a type of person that I have pet peeves. I don't like filth. I don't like no nasty house. If I fuss and yell and scream all the time, it's because of my house. Because I like things in order. I'm just particular. That's the way I was raised. That's the way I grew up. And, um, they let the mouse, I mean the mouse, the cat had little drippings all around the perimeter of my living room. This was like 10 or 12, was like 11 and 12. No, I think maybe 13, 14. And, um, and Tina had kept the cat while she went to school. She kept it up and she had this big giant toy box and she kept the cat in the toy box and she would put a little milk in there whatever and when it was at school i came and let that cat out well, i'm sorry i let that cat out my house i cleaned my house up and disinfected my house and i let that cat go now i'm gonna tell y'all this they thought i was so wrong that i let that cat go they was like are oh, you wrong you got rid of our cat three days later 
Did y'all catch what I just said? They didn't know the cat was gone to three days after. Now you love your cat so much. That cat was gone almost a week ago and you going, you going on about you bold, you let go of our cat. You didn't even realize the cat was missing. But I think they older now. Well, Tina want the dog. Terrell like, whatever, he don't care. But I think she'll take care of it. I think she will. How many of y'all be watching Tyler Perry's Oval, y'all? And Ruthless. Comment down below if y'all do and what y'all think about it. And do y'all think it's really if y'all watch the story Ruthless, do y'all really think that it's churches out there like that? Or congregations, I ain't gonna say churches. Or that there's groups out there that's like that, like very controlling, occultish, and stuff like that. Let me know. What y'all think? A lot of that goes on in some churches, very occultish like type of churches, very controlling. And you should be almost able to tell, like if you were in a controlling occultist church, like. Y'all, this is what I do. And I'm sitting here watching. BET. Usually Gina and Martin be on. Uh, I don't know what time is it. What was that? Oh, it's on 25. Anyway, y'all, I'm just sitting here. And I'm chilling. And I'm about to go. But I just wanted to tell y'all where I've been and what I've been doing and what we up to and all of that good stuff. Yeah. That leg down, girl. Just telling y'all what's up, man. How we been doing? Man. A change gonna come. Oh, yes it is. I've been down by the river. And I ain't afraid to die. I'm gonna end this video, y'all. I thought you said this wasn't gonna be a thing. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me some ideas in the comments below. What y'all would like me to do on this channel. I was told to do some cooking videos. And I'm gonna get back to that again as well. So comment down below what y'all need for me to do. I know the drill. Peace out in Jesus' name. Be blessed.